Hello, everyone. I'm Olaf Hichwa, co-founder and CTO here at Nearest Technologies. I got my start building drones when I was 11 years old. And ever since then, I've been addicted to chasing the limits of performance, mostly through electronics design. I also met my co-founder, Soren, through drone racing. And we both found our way into startups. From there, we became really disappointed by how America, in all her might, was only capable of producing tens of thousands of drones per year, while our main geopolitical adversary, China, thinks, doesn't think twice about making tens of millions of these systems. From our knowledge in drone racing, we understood that FPV drones were extremely effective at delivering payloads, specifically explosive payloads, at enemies for extreme cost efficiency. One of the first things we did as a company is build 30 of these racing drones that we had been building our entire adult lives, put them in a suitcase, and bring them right to Ukraine. By going to Ukraine, not only did we get to see spectacular end users that gave us unfiltered feedback, but we also got to see what true wartime innovation looked like. Since that trip, we've been consistently integrated, iterating on our platform, taking in end user feedback to make it more effective. We've improved our anti-jam systems by developing a suite of custom-designed radios and maintain a presence in Kyiv with an engineering office. We're not just limited to the lessons learned from Ukraine. Archer is deployed worldwide, and we're consistently taking feedback from end users wherever they might be. Speaking of end users, right now, US end users have to pick up a drone, the price of a car, and put it in risk just to get eyes on target. Whenever you're doing ISR with drones, there's a good chance you're going to lose that drone. And it's just not feasible to be spending such expensive drones on ISR. To actually have a kinetic effect on an enemy target, end users normally have to pick up a $200,000 missile system, put themselves in harm's way, and fire far from cover, risking their own lives. Enter Archer. Archer is a small FTV drone that, for only a few thousand dollars, can not only get eyes on target, but put kinetic, kinetically engaged adversaries at distances over 20 kilometers. That's a tenfold improvement in range from our competitors, while still keeping the operators undercover. Archer is the first FPV drone on DIU's blue UAS list, giving any DoD end user the authority to operate the system. We've already received a 6,000 unit production contract bringing our monthly production rate well north of 1,000 units per month, making us the highest production drone company in America for fulfilling that original dream. Thank you. Thank you. You might ask, how did two drone racing teammates that had some dream 18 months ago go from you know, a little garage setup putting together drones to making thousands of these things a month? Well, a core part of our strategy has been our obsession with ultra-high performance subcomponents. We make the majority of our subcomponents in-house, and all our electronics are designed to be China-free from the semiconductor level up. We're not just doing final assembly or putting you know, the last finishing touch here in America, writing some software for it. We're actually designing this system from the ground up to be completely based on American technology. We've developed our own Custom flight computer, powertrain, sensors, and perhaps most importantly, electronic warfare resistant radio suite for both the ground and air side right here in America, maintaining our critical technical sovereignty from China. Thank you. So what about the product? The system's in the hands of an extensive list of US end users, including the 75th Ranger Regiment, Army Infantry, Army Special Forces, Navy Special Warfare, and the Marine Corps. Neuros is pioneering the way that US forces use FPV drones for defense applications. If you're anything like me, a lot of talk can put you to sleep. So you want to actually see the system work. So I am here to give you a flight demo of Archer. Let's see. Not used to flying indoors. Maybe it'll work.
Thank you. In addition to Archer, we're also building Archer Strike with our partner Kraken Kinetics. Archer Strike is designed from the ground up for definitive lethality. It gives end users a modular selection of explosive payloads that they can simply attach to the platform in just one click. Got to get my clicker. Many types of clicks. Not only is Archer being actively deployed worldwide, but we're doing live fires right here in the United States of America. The last exciting announcement I have here today is our $35 million Series A fundraising round led by VY Capital with participation from Sequoia, Interlagos, and D3. This $35 million round is going directly into building more manufacturing might right here in America, in addition to producing more systems to make the US warfighter more lethal than ever. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>